Hi guys, welcome to Happy Hour. Friday night in Mazatlan. Uh, just about sunset. Beautiful evening, nice breeze. So it's time to tell you a happy hour story. And I've known this one for years, and I told it to a friend of mine in Florida. God, it's got to be a dozen years ago. And I got talking to him this weekend because of the hurricane. He said, man, I still tell that story. It's a good one. And it starts a number of years ago when I was working as an air traffic controller. And I was an arrival controller at the Halifax airport, but we did it remotely out of the area control center in Moncton, New Brunswick. And uh, Moncton has about 130 air traffic controllers in that building. They control all of the Atlantic, or not the Atlantic provinces, the maritime provinces and Labrador. And with that many guys, they have a cafeteria. And that's where this story takes place. We were having our lunch on a break and one of the guys big guy kind of looked like a big farm boy he's a good air traffic controller high level air traffic controller uh, he came down into the lunchroom we're all eating there and uh, I remember his name is Ray and I can't remember his last name but it doesn't matter because Ray never knew anybody's name Ray just called everybody brother so he says to us hey brothers I got a plan. Christmas is coming. Everybody's going to want a turkey. He says, they're bloody expensive here, but you can go down into the state of Maine and get them for about a quarter of the price. And he was right. That time, this is going back a ways, turkeys at the IGA in Callis, Maine were selling for 29 cents a pound. In Moncton, they were selling for a buck 61. So Ray decided he was going to take his pickup truck. It snowed anyway. It's almost Christmas time. Go down and buy a bunch of frozen turkeys for everybody and bring them back. So he asked, who wants a turkey? Well, everybody wanted a turkey. Okay, brother, give me your money, give me your money, give me your money. And I said, hey, Ray, how are you going to get back across the border with all those turkeys? Don't worry, brother, I got a plan. So, Ray had a plan. Anyway, never thought much about it, went back to work. The weekend, Ray drives down to Callis. Now, Callis, St. Stephen, is not that busy, even in the summer, usually. Uh, and right beside, a couple of miles upstream, is uh, the Milltown Crossing, which the locals use. And Ray planned to go there. And there's nobody there in December. And he crosses the bridge, goes into Maine, talks to the U.S. border guy. And the guy says, uh, purpose of your visit to the United States of America? He says... I'm going right over there to the IGA, just over there. I'm going to buy some turkey. How long do you intend to be in the United States? Oh, maybe an hour, he said, at most. Okay, so Ray goes over to the IGA, and he buys 20 turkeys, and he throws them in the box of his pickup truck. Now he heads back for Canada. And just before the Canadian border, there's a gas station. And he stops there, talks to the guy at the gas station, he says, Hey, brother! I got some turkeys in the box of my truck. I want to throw them in your snowbank if that's all right, and I'll, I'll just pick them up every few minutes. Crisis. <laughs> Go nuts. Fill your boots. So he dumps 19 turkeys in the snowbank and heads back into Canada, where the Customs and Border Patrol guy says, Hello, bonjour, because all the jobs are bilingual for the federal government. He says, uh, How long you been in the United States? He said, Oh, about 35 minutes, brother. He says, do you have anything to declare? He says, I got one turkey, brother. What Ray knew that none of us knew, every time you go into the United States as a Canadian citizen, doesn't matter if it's for 35 minutes, you're allowed to bring back 20 pounds of white meat duty-free. So, Canada Customs lets him go. Still inside of Canada Customs, he goes over to a gas station on the Canadian side, and he says to the guy in there, hey, brother. I want to throw, th throw some turkeys in your, frozen turkeys in your snowbank for a few minutes. The guy says, John, go nuts. Fill your boots. Ray jumps out of the truck, throws the turkey in the snowbank, heads back into the United States. Same border guard. He says, the purpose of your visit? He says, I get some turkeys over there in the snowbank. I'm going to get them, take them into Canada. The guy says, how long are you going to be in the States? And Ray says, about 30 seconds. Drives over, gets turkey, back to the Canadian side. The guy says, hello, bonjour. And he says, uh, how long have you been in the United States? He says, 
Oh, but 37, you must have seen me the whole time. And he says, anything to declare? He says, yeah, brother, I got one turkey. So he lets him go. Over to the Canadian gas station, jumps out of the truck, throws the turkey in the snowbank. Back to U.S. Customs. Brother, to your visit the United States? Brother, I got more turkeys over in that snowbank. I'm going to get them. Okay. Goes over and gets a third turkey. Drives to Canada Customs. Hello, Barnsley. How long have you been in the States? He said, eh, 40 seconds. He said, do you have anything to declare? He says, one turkey, brother. He says, how many turkeys have you got over there in the snowbank? Ray says, I think there's 17 left. Go get them. We're not doing this all day. Thanks for listening. Make sure you subscribe for more. Bye for now.